uh, it's bubble uh, with and there's another C sharp homework. This one's fairly simple. We're supposed to to write an app that reads three numbers and we determine whether they can display uh, whether they can uh, represent the size of a triangle in this place, of course. Uh, now, first, how do you determine if they if those three numbers can be uh, can be um, triangle? Well, this is the formula. If a plus b needs to be greater than c, a plus c needs to be greater than b, and b plus c needs to be greater than a. In that case, this is this three conditions apply, then those numbers can make a triangle. If they don't apply, then the, uh, the sides, some of the sides might be too short to connect and create a triangle. All right, so uh, let's get to do some coding. And as you may know, we need to do some variables, side A, B, and C, of course, and that's all I really need because all, the, all comparison is going to be done against these three variables. So let's ask the user for some input. Please enter the integers and uh, we'll capture them. A equals, of course, we have to convert them to integer because the input is string. So console dot read line uh, semicolon goes over here. The same for B and for C. B and C. So B and C. So the user will enter these three numbers and now we will convert to the comparison and see if they are in fact a triangle or if they can be. So what were what was the what were the conditions? A plus B needs to be greater than C. So if A plus B is greater than C and uh, A plus C is greater than B and A plus C is greater than B and the last one B plus C is greater than A B plus C is greater than A then it's a triangle console that the right line this can be a triangle if this condition is false and we will output that it is not a triangle. No, this cannot be a triangle. Anyhow, that's all. That really is uh, very simple. Uh, let's read the line. So we pause the screen. And that's that. We got the conditions. A plus B greater than C. And A plus C greater than B. And B plus C greater than A. That's right. A plus B plus C greater than A. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, so uh, let's just throw in some random numbers. Uh, what if they all equal? 10, 10, 10. Cannot be a triangle. All right, and if. Uh, all right, if A equals 10 and A plus B is equal is greater than C, so C must be smaller than that, so let's say uh, 11 and 12, then of course it can be a triangle. Because 10 plus 11 is a... 21, it's greater than 12, of course. 10 plus 12 is uh, 22, which is greater than 11. And 11 plus 12 is 23, which is greater than A, which is 10. So 23 is greater than A. So it, uh, 
the conditions is true. So let's try again. And this time, let's say 5, 4, and 3. It still can be a triangle because, let's see, 9 is greater than 3, uh, 8 is greater than 4, and 7 is greater than 5. But what if I do one really long one, like one long side? Uh, 20 and 5 and 5. Cannot be triangle because uh, now 20 plus 5 is 25, which is greater than 5. That's true. So the first condition would be true. 20 plus B, which is 5, so it's 25. I mean, 20 plus C, which is 5. 25 is greater than B. 25 is greater than 5. So the second one is true. But b plus c, which is 5 plus 5 is 10, is not greater than 20. So it's false. So this condition is false. So it goes straight to, no, it cannot be triangle. So very simple, easy, straightforward. Uh, I'm pretty sure you managed to do this uh, by yourself. But if you got stuck, hope it helped you. And I'll see you next time. Take care.